Yo, what's going on everyone? I'm Boss. You're watching the Boss on YouTube channel, which by the way, we're so close to 100,000 subscribers. Please hit the subscribe button. Today, we're gonna be reviewing the Bitmain Amp Miner T17 Plus. This is a Bitcoin ASIC mining rig. It mines the Bitcoin cryptocurrency. That's all this thing does. We're gonna review it, if it's a good buy, if the performance is good, and everything in between and touch on the Bitcoin halving that's coming up. So, let's roll the intro, 10 seconds of the beautiful tales, and do it. At the time of this review, Bitcoin is trading at almost $7,000. Really, we should say $6,938. Then we have Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin SV, which are a small percentage of the mining profitability potential for this miner, but they're still absolutely relevant at it being the rank five and six uh, crypto by coin market cap of $225 and $192 per coin on these uh, blockchains respectively. This is a quick write-up I made onto the VazCoinTalk.com, which is our new forum for anything cryptocurrency. We invite you to come join the party there. But I just uh, wrote, some, wrote down some information here for a quick access and also to uh, help you guys you know, visualize this in the video instead of me just talking about stuff the whole time. So again, I've got the Bitmain Antminer T17 Plus. It's a SHA-256, which is the mining algorithm. It's the original Bitcoin mining algorithm. And this allows this miner to mine Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, and Bitcoin SV, and any other coin that utilizes the SHA-256 mining algorithm. It also means it can't mine other coins that are on, for example, the Equihash mining algorithm like Zcash or whatever other coins and algorithms you want to throw in there. It's an, it's an ASIC miner. Application specific integrated circuit miner. Basically, it's a purpose built computer machine. It does one thing, it mines one algorithm. That's it. The M Miner T17 Plus comes in several different models for a terahash per second variation. We have the 55 terahash per second model or 55T. This model consumes 3,200 watts or about 12 amps. Amp ants. <laughs> That's. Whew. I wish this thing consumed 12 ants. If, if this thing just ran off ants, so let me tell you. Okay, this ant miner, right? It, it would be mining a lot. It would be. I would always have it on because it trust me, I'll put some sugar out on the sidewalk. We're gonna be finding plenty of ants to power this thing. Nothing personal, man. I, I really don't want to just genocide ants and everything. But uh, hey, man, I'm chasing Bitcoin. But yeah, let's focus here. So again, 12 amps as measured from our PDU, or 3,200 watts. This is a 240 volt or 220 volt electric miner that's not standard US electric, which is 120 volt for reference. Consult electrician if this is like, whoa, what are you talking about? We also have some videos talking about it if you wanna check that stuff out too. This is the 55 terahash a second model, but this one on average mines over 56 terahash a second. So if we go over and click on the actual miner and you know so this is remoting into it this is our internal ip address for it we logged in root root is how it is the admin uh username and password for these and then you click on mining status and it gives you you know not only the current hash rate which just varies by like 10,000 giga hash right but it gives you your average hash rate as measured from uh you know internally here on the miner and all kinds of other good relevant information and yes i know i have stratum tcp there twice but anyway the point here is that this miner is mining over its advertised rate which as a so if you buy this machine that's all you could ever hope and ask for is that this machine is mining at a speed greater than it was advertised it's like buying a car and it's even more powerful than they said it was as opposed to being less powerful you would feel ripped off have a diminished value if anything you buy is not performing at least at what it is supposed to the advertised performance or hash rate the t17 plus was uh, officially released december 2019 but this one clearly has a 2020 production date if we understand the production dates uh, correctly on this miner then this would i, I miswrote it in the article actually but this would i believe be a january production and i believe batch three if we understand it right in version 1.01 which appears to be some sort of tweaked version of the t17 
plus i would like to thank coin mining central for making this possible they helped us source this miner they are a verified reseller of these miners it's not an easy thing to acquire asic miners especially now that bitmain has implemented a very big kyc know your customer wall you can't just go in there and buy something you have to go through their whole kyc process so yeah what's the mining profitability look like on this miner so we've been mining bitcoin we've been mining bitcoin cash and we've been mining bitcoin sv with it i mined about all or both the sv and cash around the time of their forks because i was just or curious to watch the mining profitability at the time of a fork it was as bad as you would estimate it to be because hash or the reward is having so the profitability uh, prospect there is being cut in half it's not it's not good I'll, I'll make a whole video explaining that stuff if you're unfamiliar with it looking at say my bitcoin mining revenue this is a couple of days old but it's still pretty pretty fresh and pretty relevant when i mined it there i was say you know i was getting uh 0 0.0010362 bitcoin um you know mined over the course of that day or we could you know say a little bit more easily right about a hundred thousand satoshis what does that translate to in a USD value? So with 24 hours of mining with the T17 Plus, I mined $7.20 of Bitcoin at current uh, valuation. And uh, based off of Bitcoin Cash, slightly uh, rounded up there because uh, the data I just showed you on the pool is about 23 hours. But $5.61 of Bitcoin Cash mined in approximately a 24 hour period there. I don't have relevant data for Bitcoin SV. This mining profitability seems to be relatively on par with the mining profit calculators. If you're perceptive, you may notice this is a 64 terahash per second T17 plus model I'm showing you with this calculation. Uh, they don't have the 55 terahash per second model loaded on here. I could just use a generic calculator, but this one's a little bit easier to access and show you guys. And I've been using it in recent videos, so just trying to keep it uh, consistent here. So this one's supposed to make 55 cents a day or mine, uh, you know, 0. 0.0011 Bitcoin. So we mine slightly below that. That, that would be making $8.23 a day, costing you $7.68 per day with a 10 cent per kilowatt hour electric rate. We'll say that's the average US residential electric rate. Keep in mind that mining farms will, I mean, they, they are getting half this rate or much lower so let's say let's just take the the average high end of a uh, mining farm while this miner may not look really profitable from a residential bitcoin mining point of view keep in mind that bitcoin mining has become an industrial game okay so you cut that electric price in half now this miner is making four dollars and 32 cents a day and the electric cost on it doesn't sound uh as bad but here's like the biggest thing ever to keep in mind is that the bitcoin block reward having is in less than a month away. But I'll elaborate a little bit more on that here in a second. In full disclosure, I just want to show you the official Bitmain shop. They are still stocking the Ant Miner T17 Plus. Right now, it's listed at seven or $762. That's going to be before they add any shipping charges, tariffs, which are, depending where they're shipping from, would be about 30% coming to the US. And, uh, you know, you have to go through the KYC process. I'm not shilling Coin Mining Central here, but they are the ones helping us make these videos. Bitmain is not helping us make any videos ever. And, uh, you know, after you add those fees, it's a very minimal markup that you'd be paying to Coin Mining Central to just click, click and have that order. So the most important thing of this video review of the Bitmain Ant Miner T17 Plus SHA-256 Bitcoin Miner is that this is a good miner from a performance point of view we got this miner we plugged it in click click all we had to do was copy and paste our pool settings along with our you know username there and, and a worker name which can just be anything and a password that can literally be anything and the miner is up to you know hooked up connected and mining like it's just that easy these days with ASIC mining rigs. That, that's part of the appeal. That's why you see so many, so many of these rigs in farm deployment. That's not only the coins they mine, which is a massive factor, but it's also their ease of deployment, use, monitoring, setup, repair, and whatever else. So yes, like this is a good miner from the performance point of view, but is it a good buy? Because those are different things. Because, you know, we got this miner, 55 terahash, and it's been mining above that. Nothing but praise for a machine that does better than it was supposed to do. Okay, we can't take that away from them. Absolutely not. But buying a Bitcoin miner right before the Bitcoin halving, where the block reward is going to go from 12 and a half coins to 6.25 Bitcoins per block, and it's going to cut the mining profitability quite literally in half. 
it, it's one of the most risky times to buy a Bitcoin miner ever. This having is going to absolutely obsolete the old gear like Ant Miner S9s and stuff like that. If you don't have an efficient mining rig, see ya. It's out. Game over. Uh, you know those things are going to be for fun and for hobby. And if you have anything older than S9, you best believe that that thing that has, it has been unprofitable and it will continue to be like incredibly unprofitable. It's not even going to be an effective space eater at this point. So, and what I recommend the T17 Plus, uh, you know, if you're an aggressive mining farm, potentially, okay, I would potentially recommend it there. But if you're a residential miner, absolutely not. You're not going to make your money back by the time this thing halves. And uh, I mean, you're, you're making like maybe 50 cents a day and that might be rounded up i mean that that actually that is rounded up so you know we, we have this it's tough making these reviews because you know we're in a speculative a speculative space right cryptocurrency mining speculative coins even bitcoin is a spec coin essentially compared to like everything else in the world i don't really think so i believe in bitcoin and all that but that's a little bit of an aside then we have miners that's a spec play in itself so just a very unique situation we have here with cryptocurrency and mining in the summer here is that's very risky okay and i don't want anyone who watches the channel to get burned if you get burned because you don't watch the bosco on youtube channel and subscribe and help help us reach our 100 000 subscriber goal which we're so close to i'm not saying you deserve to get burned but hey we were trying to help you so yeah, guys, I can't recommend this thing. I absolutely not. But I, I can't say that it's not a you know great miner from a performance point of view. So I have nothing bad to say about this miner other than you know the efficiency could be a little bit higher. But I don't really care so much about efficiency as I care about the price point. I'll buy any miner if it's cheap enough and mines enough uh, you know Bitcoin uh, and to make it worth it. And I think most people would feel that way. But going into the having, you need to have the most efficient mining rigs as possible or an incredible electric rate ideally you know mining farms are chasing both so as always guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please subscribe please hit the thumbs up leave a comment below and let us know what you think about you know this video what you think about this mining rig or if you have any other general information and feedback for us or even video suggestions and again good miner bad timing we'll, we'll go with that good miner bad timing see you on the next one